got these Panasonic tower speakers to play with. I'm pretty sure these came out of uh, one of those home theater in a box setups. You know, the ones that come with the Blu-ray player built in. Let's take a look at the specs. So it's a six ohm speaker with a 250 watt power rating max. Kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Wow, so look at this. This whole giant speaker is just two small two inch drivers. I took the speaker cover off expecting to see at least something at the bottom here, but nothing. So yeah, you just have, you have two small ports and um, you have like a blank here. I don't know if that was for another third driver they were gonna add or, or a tweeter or something. And they didn't do it. But yeah, look at this. Then th there's nothing down here. Jeez. You can really tell how cheap these are. Well, seeing how cheap the speaker is, I just hooked it up directly to the amp. I highly doubt this thing has a built-in crossover or anything, so I think we should be fine. So I got a tone generator here at 20 hertz. Let's see if we get it moving a little bit. So that's 20 hertz going to the speakers. Give it a little bit more volume here. I wouldn't be surprised if these speakers just burn out the way they are just now. This thing's so cheap. It's moving quite a bit though. Pretty cool. Hmm. So I'm at 75% power now. Let's see if I can take it. Now it's moving. All right, let's go till it blows. Maybe we'll get some smoke out of the port. So I'm gonna keep increasing the volume here. All the smoke came to the top. Sweet. I got, looks like someone's smoking in my house. Look at that. It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Dang, wow, these little suckers actually lasted a long time at full tilt. I'm surprised. Still smoking. Look at that. Wow. Let's see how hot these got. Oh yeah, you can tell the coil on that thing is unwound. It's still moving, it's not seized up all the way. This one on the other hand, yep. That's like really stuck and it's still going. <laughs> I'm actually surprised for being such a like giant cheap speaker it, it actually took the power pretty well I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did still going <laughs>